come to our life in the Philippines. So today we decided to just get out of the house for a few minutes and um, do do a few things. And we're, uh, we're having a have a fresh air. Fresh air picnic lunch. Yeah. Uh, Got to get out of the house uh, once in a while, and uh, we figured we'd go up here in the, inside Clark. Um, you know, there's several parks up here, so we were up at, I don't know what this park is called. But DCD? Yeah. CDC? CDC, DCD, whatever, park up here. This is where they had some of the SEA Games last year, so. Yeah, CDC. So we're, we're just gonna have a little munchy lunchy, and uh, we'll go from there, and we'll take a walk, and take you with us. And, uh, Janice, Janice is uh, doing her own vlog now for now, so. <laughs> I'll let her, I'll let her do the talking. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Blogging together today. It's fun though. So. Let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. That's me. I forgot to hit the record button, guys. So I've been walking. <laughs> That's why I need a camera guy that handles the camera for me. I'm, I've been walking here and talking for about 15 minutes. <laughs> I even I don't even look at the camera, and the camera is off. That's <laughs> pretty interesting. <laughs> so, so we'll see. We'll see. But what I one of the things I was saying, we are at the CDC grounds. Uh, the CDC grounds were part of the venue for the SEA Games that we had. Uh, I said last year, but it's actually 2019, and I believe it was November or something like that. So it's actually 15, 16 months ago. Time goes fast, guys. This is unbelievable. Um, you know, I'm reflecting back on the time. Uh, that I've been here. I've been here now for uh, 2014 and we are at 2021 so it's going on seven years. Uh, obviously I've been in and out of the country um, and been back to U.S. several times uh, <clears throat> and uh, I don't think I will go back there no more. Next time I go, I go to my home country uh, which is Sweden. I think it's getting way too crazy over in the United States for me to even think about going there. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. There is more freedom back in Sweden, I think, today than it is in the United States. And Sweden is the country I left to get to freedom uh, in the 80s. So it's funny how times are changing, reflecting back on all these things. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, in my view, uh, as a believer, I think this is the times we have been waiting for, and uh, they are about to they are about to hit us and and, and come come around. So. It is uh, funny. So, anyway, my wife is actually blogging today too. So, uh, I gotta, I gotta wait for her a little bit. She can't keep up with me. I'm telling her I'm in better shape than you are. <laughs> I'm laughing about it. But uh, I've been fortunate in life to stay in good health and and. Uh, have a decent decent way of living so 
that's probably why. So, you know, reflecting back on these seven years, it's been, it's been a pretty interesting time here in the Philippines. A lot of, uh, a lot of things has changed and, uh, Especially, obviously, the last last year, things have changed for for uh, for the worst. The, the, the one thing I'm the one thing I'm looking at when it comes to all this is is the is the uh, um, prices. Um, so, what is the Strasbourg Fort Strasbourg Park? Was formed in 1902. It looks to to me. Yeah. I'm just, oh, I've seen it, but let's see. Strasbourg Park, made in honor of Car uh, Colonel uh, John Miller Slutzenberg of the First Nebraska Volunteers, who was killed in action while uh, leading his regiment near Langua, November. Look on April 23, 1989. Completed in October by the year of Lord 2003 during the incumbency of Dr. Navarro. Okay, so, but it's a uh, it's pretty pretty cool little statues actually. They're they're pretty cool. Look at those small cannons. That's a little different from our electronic weaponry today for sure and then uh, you have over on this side um, I think this is also from that era of the eight late 1800 and and it's uh, it's pretty pretty interesting how it is I don't know if you can see that from the light coming in the camera but but uh, we'll do it this way. So, all right. So, so this is the Stossenberg Park, guys. And uh, I like to be here because you can walk. You can. Uh, there's not a whole lot of people, but you can jog. You can do do things. So it's a, it's a good place to come up and exercise and and uh, you know walk around a little bit and uh, I, I think that uh, we need we need actually uh, the exercise the, 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 the things after after 10 months honestly uh, you know I've been I've been kind of trying to stay a little bit active but the truth of the matter is that uh, the truth of the matter is that I stepped on the scale the other day and I actually gained about 8 kilo, which is more than 16 pounds. Uh, and uh, close to, or actually over 10% of my normal body weight. So, so that, this thing with shutdowns and everything that is happening uh, affects everybody whether you are aware of it or not um, and these are things we got to watch out for so I'm trying to get back to normal so to speak and and uh, you know um, even though I do not think at any point anything will become normal um, uh, as we know it as normal, but I think I think we uh, just got to adapt to it and keep keep going, keep moving, and uh, keep being aware of the surroundings of what actually is truly, truly going on. Uh, as I think there's more to it uh, behind the pandemic and and all these things. So. So anyway, uh, enough of that. I just love this area, and uh, you have uh, the opportunity to get some fresh air and 
Here she goes, the little lady. She's coming right after me. She wanted to vlog today too, so I said, okay, come on, let's go, let's get on the bike. So we're probably, I'll probably do a motor vlog also. Um, we'll either let out tomorrow or the next day. I try when I'm out like this and walk around. I try to do a couple of three of them at the same time. So uh, now she wants a rest. All right, so. I guess we <laughs> give her a rest. All right, so uh, I left her behind. She she got exhausted just walking for 15, 20 minutes. We need to, you know, I told her we need to start doing this a little bit more. Uh, luckily, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape still. But I can tell, you know, these 10, 10 months, like I said, you know, the weight is one factor but also the the factor that that your breathing gets heavy from just walking instead of running so so it's um that's why I'm want to be up here and I figured I'll have the camera with me when I do it it's it's pretty pretty fun anyway so you know when it comes to the neighborhoods here they're pretty pretty decent look at that on the other side there by the road. It looks like there was a big tree that fell over. It must have happened during the storm. And it pulled out the concrete right off the, or, or the, what do you call it, these things on the on the side, the walkway even. It pulled out the whole thing. Um, so it must have been a pretty big tree. Maybe one of these that you see here, maybe. It could be possible. That storm was actually in uh, my in my seven years I've been here. That storm was actually the strongest wind I have ever seen in this area. Uh, you know, which is surprising because we're so far off. Uh, we're so far off. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the 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 coastline that. Normally wind dies down a little bit, but that one kept coming and uh, I think somebody told me that we had wind gusts at, at like 130, 140 kilometers an hour or maybe even more, which is, <coughs> which is uh, taking a close up to r roughly, uh, roughly, what do you call it, uh, 100 miles an hour. So. But it's interesting. All right, they say they have uh, free Wi-Fi here, and uh, the Wi-Fi is actually on. I tried to connect my phone to it, see if I could go live with you guys, but that didn't work because uh, it connects to the Wi-Fi, but it says there's no internet on this Wi-Fi, so. So we'll see. Free Wi-Fi, no littering, no drinking of liquor. The fine for littering is a thousand and for drinking alcohol beverage is five times that, five thousand pesos. Or roughly one hundred US dollars. So they've been clamping down on that for a while. It was uh, at at some point they were clamping down on the um, smoking as well in public. Uh, it seems like they enforced it for a while, and now it's not like super enforced anymore for some reason. I don't know. I don't see them bother much with it. Maybe maybe this. Uh, pandemic took over the responsibilities and over here they seem to have like a children's park but it all seems to be closed off no access so 
I guess the kids are not allowed to come out and play. That, that's I, I find it strange. Um, when most, most science actually tells us that children are not affected the same way people like me are, and I haven't been affected for a year. So, that tells you something. <laughs> Another thing I like about park here, they do have garbage dump places where you can actually dispose of the garbage. A lot of places, a lot of places around here, you can't find a garbage can and garbage ends up on the street. But here, they do have it and they very strictly uh, enforces the rule of not um, putting garbage and things down. You rarely ever see any any paper or anything. So it's it, it's pretty pretty good. Up here it seems like there's a stage or something. I don't know what that is. But must have been they had some concerts or something in the past. Right now it's all blocked off and no access to it. And down here they have like one, two, three, three or four tennis courts as well. So I guess you could come here and play some some tennis. So it could be fun. I like to play tennis actually. It's a, it's a fun sport and it gives you a lot of good exercise. So haven't played in many years, but. In my younger days, I had fun doing it. That was during the Bjornborg era, if you guys remember that one, where he he pretty much took the uh, Wimbledon, I think, five years in a row and that kind of stuff. So, so it, it was uh, it was an interesting interesting happening. And my wife has managed to get across the field and she is waiting for me here. So she had about one third of the way to go while I had to go um, maybe a kilometer. She had to go 200 meters. So there she is. There she is. Anyway, I think this is a pretty nice park, and uh, I'm going to wrap this one up, guys, so we'll see you again on Sunday on our live feeds. There are every, every Sunday, and uh, at 9.15 a.m., that would be 8.15 p.m. Saturday night, Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you there. Thank you for watching. God bless and hit that subscribe button and the bell to get the notifications of our whereabouts and what we are doing. I think there's going to be some really interesting events coming up and we're going to try to cover whatever comes up over the next few months and see what where we're going with all this. Thank you and God bless. We'll see you soon. Wait. Don't click that button unless, of course, you hit the subscribe button and then you can move on. And while you're down there, hit the notification button as well. And if you leave a like or a comment, we will personally respond to you on all or any request you might have. And thank you for watching and we'll see you again.